What's up guys? So today we have a really fun video. I am joined by Valley Flyin' and we're gonna be taking a look at some of the cooler stuff that I found in the Marvel Strike Force Art of the Game book. So uh, what's going on Valley? What is up? What is up brother? I hope this sounds good. I'm recording this from my phone and I want to wish you a happy new year brother. Oh happy new year to you as well. You're uh, talking to us from where? Hawaii? Yes, yes. All the way from the 808 state brother. So uh, yeah, we, we got Valley flying in on the comms from Hawaii, and uh, yeah, uh, Valley hasn't even seen this list by the way, so I'm surprising him with a bunch of this. Uh, he has the book as well. Uh, if you've not seen the book, again, it looks like this, and uh, it's called The Art of the Game. Uh, the devs sent us a copy, and so uh, it's over 200 pages. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but I just kind of cherry-picked some of my favorite stuff that I found, and uh, want to share it with you guys and with Valley. So, uh, super sweet, super sweet. Yes, I did get it and I got it right before I left. So I just browsed through it. I didn't get a chance to really delve into it like you. So some of this is gonna be a surprise to me as well. So I'm ready for it. Looking forward to it. So uh, starting with number 10, Thor almost had a beard. Oh, so uh, I- Where's that picture? <laughs> oh, it should be in your in your PMs. I see it, I see it. nice, nice, okay. I see what they did with this. So uh, yeah, I you, like that. I like that. You can see the original Thor model next to uh, the other Thor model there, the one that we actually have in the game. And uh, yes. yeah, he's just bulkier. He's just got bigger, blockier armor. He was just a, a much thicker character. And that's interesting because like I already look at our current Thor and I think like, wow, he's such a beefy boy. He's so thick. And if you look at the original Thor, he was just like a titan, man. Hulkish type Thor. Yeah, he was. He was a brute. So uh, what do you what do you prefer? Do you prefer the uh, the Thor with the beard and the hair that kind of falls over his face a little bit, or do you like the uh, the hair more pulled back? I, I kind of like a mix. I like the body type in the game right now, but I, I like the hair and the beard. I think that's a little cooler. It's a little more uh, up to date of what we see in the MCU right now. So, or, uh, in the in the past few movies, so I like I like what uh, the beard. So I, I would prefer like a mix. What yeah. what, are, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I on a, I showed this to a few of my alliance mates, and uh, they said the same thing. They're like, "Oh yeah, beard Thor is the way to go." And I I like the the classic Thor that we have. I think he would have been too big and clunky there. And uh, yeah, I don't, I'm just not crazy about that face. But it, it might be the hair. It's not really the beard that bothers me. I just I don't like that hair anywhere near as much. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I kind of like what we've got. But it's each their own. I'm glad you like the original version. Uh, a lot of people seem to. So. Obviously, let us know in the comments below what you guys prefer. Yes, yes. Maybe we will see it uh, one day if skins ever comes to the game. Yep. Moving on though, this one I think you're uh, you're really gonna take to heart. All right, coming in at number nine, Hulk and Captain America were originally gonna have a team up animation. Oh my goodness! This is something I missed browsing through, and I am disappointed seeing this. I would have loved, it. and hopefully this is something they can still add in at this point. I'd... That would be so cool, jeez. <laughs> yep, I mean, they, they've kind of gone the direction of like team up animations are just between character A and character B. So I think because Captain America got one with Iron Man, he won't get one with Hulk. But yeah, this is cool. Now it, it does just kind of look like they were gonna do the, the fastball special, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty Maybe cool. Maybe that's why they scrapped it. Like this this is Colossus and Wolverine's move. We can't give this a thorn cap. Maybe, yeah. But uh, Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I thought you might like that one. Uh, I, I, I like it, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't ever come to fruition. Yeah, I, I just like how far it looks like he flung him. Like, he gets so tiny. It's like he launched him to the moon. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, coming in at number eight, uh, Classic Rhino had a model done. So, mm, I see it. I see it. So okay. I, I can't quite tell this was either a model or really, really late stage concept art, but it looks like a model because it's in the T pose and stuff. And uh, if you remember, they like early, early on in the game, they had silhouettes of some of the unreleased characters. And I think that's what Rhino's silhouette looked like. Mm. So I think that that was a, a completed model. I think uh, that was the Rhino that we would have gotten. Um, if they'd released him closer to launch instead of waiting for the Sinister Six. Mm, I, I'm, I'm torn on this one because the, the one we have in the game looks pretty cool, but the, the, some of these classic uniforms is the ones I grew up with as a kid. So I think I got to go with the classic one that they have in the book that didn't make it into the game. 
Where, where are you falling on this? So I have a strong opinion on this one. Uh, I, I'm gonna kind of go the direction you went with the, the first look at the original Thor model, which is uh, I, I do like the, the tech rhino suit. I think it's more practical. It kind of makes sense. Um, I wouldn't have been upset if we got this version of Rhino, but the one thing I really, really wish they'd copied from this version of Rhino is his stature. Like, he's a lot wider. And so the Rhino that we got, my one criticism of him is he just feels, like, very vertical. He just feels like a kind of tall guy. And I'm used to Rhino just being, like, a you know, just ginormous. Like, he's, I just feel like he's supposed to have, like, crazy broad shoulders. You should feel like you can, like, climb on his back. So... Yeah, I just, I wish Rhino was more this stature. I, I, I like kind of the armored suit, but this is the shape of the Rhino that I wanted, so. I, I like the face. I, I like the face on this one. This one looks detailed and what I remember of Rhino. But, but I mean, you, you take the mech suit, that's a little more recent as well. That's, that's kind of what it appeared in that uh, Amazing Spider-Man number two, the one yep. with Andrew Garfield, so. Yep, and I like the glowing eyes. But yeah, I'm, I'm not super upset at this one. This, this, I, I like it, but yeah. All right, moving. Either on. way is fine with me. I, I agree. All right, coming in at number seven, uh, the original Wasp concept art had her face without a helmet. So I don't know if uh, she was gonna ever take her helmet off in any of her animations, or they, you know, they just drew that just in case. But you can see here, Wasp had a face. Ooh, you know what I'm wondering when I when I when you when you say that with the helmet, I, I think of the Killmonger where his helmet gets knocked off when he gets critted. So I'm wondering if they if this was the original design for the whole character or something kind of like they did with Killmonger. I'm thinking it would be more like uh, something that they did with Miles. You know how like Miles has a face and he just you know he drops down and then he pulls his mask down. Something like maybe uh, she would have dropped in and then formed her helmet over her head. But yeah, I think they just put that in like, yeah, I'm not sure if we'd ever show her face, but if we did, this is what it would look like. And so that Hope Van Dyne looks a little bit uh, different than uh, the ones from the movies, so. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Um, I, I, I like the, that you can see the face. Maybe it's in the game right now, but it just has a, the helmet over it and we're never going to see it. Unlikely, but possible, I think. <laughs> I think because we, we've looked at some of the characters that, uh, like, we, I've looked in the models, like, when I did the, the Killmonger reveal originally, and we can see mm -hmm. characters that have their faces, so I don't think her face got made it into the game, but that yeah, would have been cool. Okay. Coming in at number six, Killmonger almost looked a little bit more like Michael B. Jordan. So, interesting that you mentioned Killmonger. You can see the pictures here. He almost had the mustache, and he almost had the bun instead of the, the dreads hanging. I like the Michael B. Jordan version better than the one that's in the game right now. So do I. That's what I'm I not thought. sure who that's supposed to be that's in the game right now. Well, so, to, to be fair, the original Killmonger looks nothing like Michael B. Jordan. Like, the Killmonger from the comics is a, a totally different looking dude. So I think, okay, that, okay. I think that that one's supposed to... But but yeah, they did a weird thing. They went with like a guy whose face more resembles the original Killmonger, but then they put him in like the Michael B. Jordan clothes and hair, which is weird. And then they, they have to do a thing where they can't ever make it look exactly like the actor, otherwise they have to pay for the actor's likeness. So it couldn't look just like Michael B. Jordan, mm. but uh, gotcha. I, I'm with you. I like the original version. I don't know why they scrapped it. I think the original version just just plain looks better. I don't know how they ended up with uh, the one that's in the game now, but I also think that the original one looks more like Michael Jordan. But let me see it again. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let, let, me, let me know what you guys think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think in the, the comments. Mustache. Sure he's got, seeing Michael Jordan. He's there. got the Michael Jordan mustache. Come on. But uh, <laughs> all right. Hey. Look. I don't know. I don't know if I see it, but maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm in the minority there. <laughs> Yeah, or, or maybe I'm mistaken, but all right, coming in at number five, we almost got Talos. So you can see here, there's a lot of concept art for Talos. And uh, yeah, I mean, do you like Talos as a character? You want more scrolls? Well, well I, I did remember reading this in the book and it looked like they were deciding between Minerva and Talos. And I'm just wondering if they went with Talos, if Talos would be one of the meta characters in the game right now. That's, that, that is what I was uh, wondering. Oh, so yeah, you're, you're thinking for function. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as like having would have been an epic cosmic healer. 
Um, cause she's like the, the geneticist, like it's, you know, it fits perfectly with her kit. So no, I, I oh, bet. So you think the kit would have been totally different if they went with Talos? I do. Cause I think they might still bring okay. him in at a later date. So I would like to see I, the more diverse characters, the more of these uh, characters that were in the MCU for me, I would want to see. So I hope they bring him in. Yep. I, I hope they do too. That said of all the characters we've heard that they might bring in Talos is not that high on my list. I don't really care for him. But uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just of the opinion more, the more characters, the merrier. Yeah, All right. I agree, I agree, more the merrier. Coming in at number four, the entire Black Order had full models done. Oh, I remember seeing that tag back when Thanos was released and I thought they were coming very soon and then the tag got dropped and I don't know where they were and it's, it's, they got pretty far with it, it looked like, right? Oh, for with sure. All these models, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and in the art very, book, very close. in the art book, it says that they they wanted to put the Black Order back in the vault so that it didn't take away from Thanos's introduction. Like they didn't want the Black Order overshadowing Thanos's launch, which is I find interesting. But I mean, you can look at the character designs, and I think they they all look really good. Like they all look spot on for how I would want the characters to look in the game, and they're really really detailed models. So. Uh, the, the art department always does a good job. I mean, even I mean, whether it's what was actually released in the game or some of their concept art that never was seen. I mean, something in there is really, really good. You know, I, I, I know some people were disappointed with a few character models, but man, everything they do, most like ninety percent of everything, ninety nine percent of everything they do is I'm very, very happy with. So, I would have liked to see the Black Order in this game. And uh, you know what? There, there, if there's a slight chance they're coming to the game. And that's good enough for me. I hope they eventually come to the game. I would love another villain faction like this. Just a super overpowered villain faction. Well, they, they were very specific with the wording. They said they put them back in the vault. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance. I, I think sooner or later it'll have to happen. I think they, that, again, if, if their main thing was, well, we don't want these characters competing with Thanos' launch, that says to me that there will absolutely be a time to bring them out. I think we'll definitely get these characters at some point. I hope you're right. All right, coming in at number three, a very, very small sneak peek at Iron Patriot. <laughs> Interesting. Now, now I want to put a disclaimer on this. Uh, Iron Patriot was one of the early, early silhouettes like at global launch that we found in the game files. So they had been thinking about introducing Iron Patriot for a while. And this concept uh, screenshot here was from the earliest, earliest iteration of Alliance War. They were thinking about like putting the character models in the helicarrier rooms. And we know that they've been working on all of this stuff since launch. So I think this is a really, really, really old screenshot. And we knew that at one point they were thinking about putting Iron Patriot in and we knew we had a model, but we'd only ever seen the silhouette. So I don't think that the inclusion in this art book means we're more likely to see Iron Patriot anytime soon. But the fact that he did get a model done this is our first look at what his like color scheme was actually going to look like and what his design was going to look like. So uh, I wouldn't have been mad if it uh, if uh, War Machine slash Iron Patriot looked like this. Uh, I think that the more interesting thing is that the screenshot of this War Room esque looking thing. They've been thinking about war for a long time. I mean, probably before global launch. Oh, so. for sure. Yeah, so that that is what I find interesting about this thing that they've had the war alliance war uh, spinning around for a while. So, yep, for sure. Um, now that's it. You, you'd said War Machine slash Iron Patriot, and I know in the movies they kind of made it the same thing. And even with my limited, oh, is it not the same? Is it not the same thing in the comics? <laughs> with my limited knowledge of comics, I'm pretty sure that uh, Norman Osborn pilots Iron Patriot and oh, okay. Rhodey pi pilots War Machine. So. It might. Oh, okay. I thought I thought they were the same exact thing. So so excuse my uh, lack of comic book knowledge there. Jeez. Oh no problem. In in Marvel Contest Champions are two different characters. So I went into this game assuming okay. they'd be two different characters. Okay. But okay. uh, all right. So so having said that though, you 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 have this knack for touching on things coming up next. So a perfect segue. Coming in at number two, War Machine was almost a lot beefier. Oh. Now this is this is interesting because I remember when 
we were talking about War Machine being released, there was a few different avatars of the head there. Like, which is the one that's used, which is not used? There was a few different iterations that we saw. We saw some extra guns in that avatar. So, yeah. I, I like the one with more guns. He just looks way crazier. Right. So so this one's a little bit more like the, uh, the uh, Endgame War Machine. You can see he's just a lot beefier. He's just got, like, these big armored shoulders and this thing strapped to his back. He's got the chain gun with the big magazine. Yeah, he just looks way scary. He looks more like a tank. And uh, so yeah, I, uh, there's been a few things on this list where I'm like, you know, I actually kind of preferred the original direction you guys are going with. I like the Iron Man that just looks scary as hell. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the original art. I think just because I've seen a lot of the stuff so much in the game now that just something different is a little more appealing to me so a lot of this the original concept art i'm like yeah i think i like that better and look at the size of the, his uh like his forearms the the guns they added to his forearms he's just massive. oh the guns are bigger the arms are bigger he's got more uh the bigger guns on the forearms like you said jesus yeah yeah he's way a, scarier he is indeed and uh this brings us to number one here and number one Depending on how you look at it, may come as news, may not. But to me, I, I took it as news. So coming in at number one, more X-Force characters are coming confirmed. So you'll see... Sweet. Right. You'll see in an excerpt here, it says, With many more mutants on the way to join their X-Men, X-Force, and Brotherhood contingents, Strike Force is flexing its X-Gene muscles to the limit. So we were expecting more X-Men, we were expecting more Brotherhood, but... A lot of people kept asking, like, what, what's up with X-Force? Are they ever going to do anything else with X-Force? Are we getting more X-Force? And it, it kind of seemed like they just rolled out Deadpool and Cable for Deadpool 2. And then and then just kind of, you know, when Colossus came out and didn't have X-Force, it was like, well, I, I, don't, I don't think we're getting X-Force. But uh, no, this says here very clearly, uh, more X-Force is on the way. So Thank goodness, because right now my Deadpool and Cable does not really have a strong home. So... Yeah, bringing in Domino, maybe making Colossus have a dual X Men X Force tag, uh, something, something. I'm not, maybe, maybe not the Colossus. No, scrap that, but um, some things. You know, bringing more characters to to have them on a usable team that uh, is effective in the game. I, I would like so, and I'm and I'm also in favor of more characters. So, yes, I, I am very happy with this. This is something I missed when I did my initial browse through the book. So. I'm glad you caught this. This is a nice one. Yep, and I, I have, I, I still like again. It's over 200 pages. I haven't even read like every paragraph on every page and everything. But uh, I was just trying to do a quick scan, and I picked up on some good stuff. And I was like, oh, I definitely want to share this with people. But uh, so yeah, uh, that is uh, the the top 10 reveals that I found in the art book. So thank you guys very much for checking it out. Thank you Valley Flying for joining me for this one. I I just thought this video would be right up your alley. So, uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> so, Super sweet. Thank so, you for including me, brother. No problem. So I'll put a link to Valley Flying stuff in the video description below. Um, as for uh, the power core giveaway on this video, actually, it's going to be something interesting. I'm not doing a power core giveaway on this <clears> video. <throat> I'm doing something better. So Ooh. I did not know that the devs were sending me this art book because they sent it to my old address. So even though it had already arrived at my old address, no one told me it was being sent, didn't know that it was coming, so I went ahead and pre-ordered one. But now that I have one already, my pre-ordered one is gonna arrive here in a couple days, and I don't need two of them. So I'll go ahead and give the other one away. So this will be, be a that big giveaway. Better. That yeah, is better, that I think, is better. I think it retails for like 50 something dollars plus shipping. So uh, yeah, on this particular video, you guys can enter in for a chance to win an MSF art book. So uh, all you gotta do is leave a comment below and let me know which X-Force character you most want added to the game. And then you are entered in for a chance to win. I like it, super sweet. Good luck, guys. Uh, what he said, good luck. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap. I will have a new Marvel Strike Force video ready for you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for checking this one out. And uh, until then, peace.